they play in Western Kentucky and Wofford Hills, they play. Oh, Charleston. 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 You know, they just beat the heck out of them. And, and it's hard that you just, you just, well, I'm not sure they're, sure that those people are playing, you know, but they're, they're good. They, they, beat, they beat the heck out of us today. I mean, it wasn't no, it wasn't no, they just beat the heck out of us. Then we didn't help ourselves, you know, they beat us. And we fumbled and got holding penalties and uh, uh, self-destructive like teams do. And uh, But don't take anything away from them, man. They whipped us. They whipped us. How do we feel? The opposite of the way we felt last week. How do they feel? Like we felt last week. You know? I've been in their shoes so many times. I swear I've been in their, their shoes where we go in and upset somebody more than I've been in my own shoes. You know, having somebody come in and upset us. Coach, how big of a blow is this to the momentum you guys have built last week at BYU? How much momentum would be left after, after that one tonight? Uh, I would say the momentum would be dead still, wouldn't it? Unless it goes downhill. Momentum. I have to get them to be like that. Chris, when you guys had the no, team, fight. <laughs> you guys had a first and goal early and didn't punch it in and that that kind of set the tone. Not, yeah, not that, that that told us the story right there. They, that they meant business. You know. We had we I mean gosh, we would have first and that first and three on three and didn't get in and uh I didn't feel bad about the decision. You know, you, you'd say, well, gosh, you should have gone and got your three. No, three wouldn't have won that dead bucket. You needed seven, you know. And we thought we could hit it. We hit up inside, and they stopped it. And so we said, surely we can go outside with it, and they stopped that too. And they just, they came to play. And uh, I, and when I look at this film, uh, oh, God, the way we got beat up front on offense, I, I, I didn't know you could beat us like that. I mean, we, we they, they because I, I've got to look at the film, see, did they, did they, did they, uh, use, did they use tricks to, to get somebody free, or were they just, are they just beating somebody? I think a lot of it is just beating the guy, you know? And they might have had some kind of scheme in there where they could break a guy free that we couldn't pick up. But I, I think more of it is they just beat our blockers. Coach, you were saying this week you'd still seen too many bombs in practice, and today, 73 and 76, what's... Don't change, does it? Yeah, what goes on? What's going on? Well, you saw it. Huh? <laughs> Me and you both saw what happened. It, it, it's unbelievable. I mean, you know what I mean? That that was their two plays. That, that, that was it. Theirs were two bombs, you know? A bomb and the wide drag. Now, don't tell nobody about that wide drag, man. Because it's just about the fifth time somebody's caught that in the protection. Don't y'all tell nobody. <laughs> That's the fifth time. That, 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 this year and last year with somebody on the goal line, roll your right, drag your hand wide open. Their whole thing was in three plays. <laughs> but their defense, their defense played 60 minutes of great football.